John Bones Jones versus Cyril Gan fight week. John Bones Jones versus Cyril Gan. Final few days down until the fight goes down. That's what I'm talking about. The hype is real. The return for Johnny Bones is comeback. It's always hype. Every time he's came back from suspensions, you know, in 2016, 17, 18, it's always been hype. You know, now this time he's not coming back from suspension. He's coming out of a three-year hiatus where he prepared years for this move up to heavyweight, getting his, you know, physical form ready for heavyweight, and then taking the time to get physically adjusted for heavyweight. John Jones has prepared his mind, body, and spirit for this fight. And I think John is going to be ready. And I do expect the best John Jones to turn up. Um, but again, I don't know if he will. I'm just going to bank on it. I'm going to trust on it because it's John Bones Jones. But I tell you what, man, even though, yes, I am picking Bones to win, I am not confident at all. And if you're Team Jones, if you got money on John Bones Jones, like, this is a scary fight, okay? This is a scary fight if you're picking John Bones Jones. And this fight will be a nail biter. Bones says he'll make it look surprisingly easy. He will not. If any one of the two is going to make it look easy, I mean, if you had to pick, who would most likely make this look easy? The guy who is a natural heavyweight, who has been more active for the last three years, who has momentum, who's been killing top contender after top contender in the last few years Jones has been out, versus a guy who hasn't fought in three years, who's age 35, um, arguably not in his prime anymore based off his last couple performances. You take two of those guys. One guy, like I said, not a natural heavyweight, has not fought in two years. Who are you picking to make this contest look easy? I'm taking I'm taking the first option, Surreal Gone. If any one of the two is going to make it look easy, Gone will make it look easy. Now, I don't think he will make it look easy, but if someone makes it look easy, it's going to be Surreal Gone. And without question, John Jones is going to get tested. He's going to have some adversity. There's going to be some challenges going up against Cyril Gan because Cyril Gan, tall, long, same height as John Jones, but he's bigger than John Jones, better striker than John Jones. His striking is more fluid than John Jones. His footwork is better than John Jones. I think naturally he's going to be more faster, despite having the size advantage over John Jones. And John Jones, this is new territory. He's never felt that heavyweight power before. <clears throat> Even though Surreal Gan is not really known to be like a one-shot KO artist, it's the heavyweight division. If someone lands right, <clears throat> they can knock anyone out. Anyone can knock anyone out at heavyweight. John has never gone up against that before. So there's a huge possibility that he might not respond well to the power of Surreal Gan, given this layoff that he hasn't fought in so long. He hasn't taken a clean punch in a real fight in so long, especially not from a heavyweight fighter. So this is going to be a very, very dangerous fight for John Jones, and I'm worried. And like I said, he's 35 years old. John Bones Jones is old. This is the old guard versus the new guard. Okay, Surreal Gan is a young lion. He's talented. And without a doubt, man, like I said, Bones will be tested, but John Jones is no stranger to overcoming obstacles and challenges. And that's why I'm picking him to win this fight, because even if John Jones is struggling early, like he was against Reyes and Gustafson, he knows how to turn the tide. And we've seen with Surreal Gan, we've seen the tide get turned on him when he fought Francis Ngannou. And if that was a problem against Ngannou, imagine someone like John Jones who has X amount more skills than Ngannou. And plus, Surreal Gan in his second chance fighting for the undisputed title, he's going up against another um, more experienced veteran. He's yet again, I mean, he always is at an experienced disadvantage, but I mean, this is a second world champion he's going up against. And a world champion who has more title wins than any other former champ that Gan may have ever fought before in his life. I mean, he's fought JDS, former champion, Nganu, former champion, and now he's going to fight John Jones, former champion. But John Jones, most title fight wins in UFC history. This guy was pound for pound number one for many years and like I said this guy knows how to win fights this guy knows how to adapt and I just think that John Jones is just more gritty than Surreal Gone 
<clears throat> I just think he's got more of a dog in him than God. Now, God has that dog in him too, but not as much as John Jones. Like John said, he is going to drag Surreal in the trenches and see how much Surreal wants it. And it's going to be a war, but because it's going to be a war, I favor Bones because Bones thrives in wars. And I believe this fight is going to look very reminiscent of the Francis Ngannou fight, where Surreal Gan is going to have a head start. He's going to be doing good early, picking John Jones apart. John will try to get takedowns early, and early in the fight, he's not going to be able to take Gan down. Gan's going to chop at the legs, he's going to tag John Jones. We might even see John get dropped for the first time in his career. But I think moments like that, it's just going to fuel john jones i think he can survive the early rounds because even though i said john has never felt the heavyweight power before he's not fighting francis Ngannou, so i'm not 100 percent worried about him getting knocked out here i think he will be able to handle the punches of surreal gun um and of course he's got that takedown threat in the early rounds but he's not going to be able to get the takedowns but it will definitely it will definitely put some fear in gun's mind it might make him a little bit hesitant but regardless gun will get the early rounds I just can't unsee Surreal Gone handily winning rounds one and two. But I feel like by round three, there's going to be a bit of a momentum shift. John Jones is going to start to adapt. He's going to start to kind of outsmart Surreal Gone. Gone is going to start to wear down from the pressure of John Jones, constantly backing up, constantly having to defend takedowns. I think eventually that, that pressure of Bones will get to surreal gone and john jones is going to soften him up with body strikes as well some damaging shots in the clinch and eventually a takedown is going to get through surreal gone will give in to one of the takedown attempts of john that's going to lead to john jones doing damage to a more tired gone who's going to have a harder time getting back to his feet against a stronger heavyweight version of john jones and then the damage he takes on the ground will then soften him up uh, on the feet headed into the fourth round and then gone may not be the same fighter in round four given the beating he'll take on the ground being exhausted john will then have more success on the feet then takedowns will come easier and then perhaps we see john jones finish the real gone in round four either via tko or submission or maybe gone survives and makes it to the full distance but loses a clear 48 47 decision to john jones and potentially goes down as one of the best fighters in the ufc to never win undisputed gold although he's still young he still has time like in heavyweight it doesn't really matter how old you are like it takes till your early 40s to be past your prime so gone could be champ maybe in the next few years or so but not now um but i mean maybe he could you know i, I could be wrong this could age horribly like i could easily see surreal gone winning like i said given all the factors john jones is older um he arguably could be past his prime he's had so much time out of the octagon surreal gone has momentum and activity on his side and youth on his side all of that could lead to gone winning and plus he matches a lot of the physical attributes that John Jones has, you know, being tall, being big, you know what I mean? And he's just as talented as John Jones. So obviously, Surreal Gone could win this fight. He's got a very solid chance. He's got more than a chance to win this fight. Him winning is very, very likely. But who he's fighting, it's hard to pick him. And again, we can assume we won't see the best John Jones, but at the same time, we could see the best john jones john could just come back rejuvenated you know george st pierre was having close fights before his layoff and then he came back and then he finished michael bisbing when he hadn't had a finish in like nine years so it's very possible we could be seeing a very dangerous john bones jones and the problem is with gone is that he's fighting a guy who knows how to adapt and adjust overcome adversity and Against Ngannou, we saw that, yes, he can have a head start, but once the momentum shifts, Gan doesn't really know how to steal the momentum back, and he makes a lot of dumb, questionable decisions in that octagon as shown against Ngannou. Maybe he can smarten up against John, but he better, but against Ngannou, you know, he was going for unnecessary sub attempts when Ngannou started wrestling, focusing on getting submissions rather than trying to get back up. And he would have beaten Ngannou if in the fifth round he just stayed on top after taking him down. He chose to go for a leg lock. 
and then hold on to the leg lock and the smarter, more experienced than Ganu took advantage of escaping and ended up on top and rode out the round on top to win a decision against Surreal Gan. Uh, and if he makes those mistakes, those same mistakes against John Jones, he's going to pay, but he's going to pay even worse and it's going to be even more brutal than the Nganu fight. It's going to be a lot more devastating. Like, John will brutalize Surreal Gan. Like, I just have a feeling John, he's coming for blood in this fight against Surreal Gan. So, Gan, he's got to be perfect against a master like John Jones for all five rounds. Can he do that? He could, but like I said, any mistakes or any sign of, of slowing down in this fight, it's going to be bad against John Jones, but I'm looking forward to this matchup, man. It's such a close fight on paper, um, and the fact, like, the fact, the scary factors going in, the unknown, is what makes this fight so exciting. The risk in picking John Jones makes me more excited like, this is a huge gamble. Like I said, there's going to be moments in this fight where you might, you may be watching this thinking, damn, I made a mistake putting money on John. He may not win this fight, and then he ends up winning the fight. That's how this fight is going to look. I just have a gut feeling, you know, if Bones is going to win, it's going to be ugly. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be a tough, gritty dog fight, and I'm looking forward to it. But let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. I'm going with John, but I give Gon all the credit in the world. Will this be the passing of the torch? Are we in the new gen here? Is John Jones, is his time done? Or will he yet again reign supreme, make history, and become a heavyweight champion of the world? Find out this Saturday. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and peace out.